Okay. Well, now we go and talk to Poppy. Let's see what the hell she got going on. She this way. Yeah, we gotta wait on her. Is she right there or we Oh she ain't load up yet? Oh good, you're safe. Well, this loading time be killing me. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall. Oh, she look horrible. They got to her. What do you mean? Well, she got the graphics right? all the way up. She's Lord. fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. If your grand's all right and they didn't get the egg, then perhaps we're fine. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as... beard! You're a genius! The centaurs, they'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Oh, girl, you're useless. I thought we were going to go and handle some business right now. I ain't going to do that just yet. I want to do these side quests and get them out the way. They follow us out of hogs, man. So what the hell she at? You be killing me, man. Like, I can't even.
Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Are you ready to put an end to Halo? Mm, shit. I was ready when the game got started. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle. That's Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. <laughs> Bro, having these graphics on load just ain't the move. Otto Dibble and Mr. and Mrs. Webb. All right. I feel like I'm I playing a, a Nintendo 64 game. Them. While I head to the Hogshead, I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would say, Nintendo 64 game when I got them on though. my activities than if I were to village questioning its residents. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. So I got the bridge. I wonder if that's the same bridge that was on that piece of paper that I found. Please tell me you didn't take it, but perhaps it's been here all along. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I've nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you know who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill. Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What does he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Now to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. 
Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <sighs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Okay, got one more. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert? I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. He should have spoken out. Nah, he would have got killed. You may have shared Mr. Bickle's fate if you had spoken out against Harlow as he requested. Unfortunately, I suspect you're right. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate. I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty.
Looks like I can increase these graphics just some. What if I lower the frame rate to 60, would that be, would that help? I'm literally trying everything just to get it to run smooth. I'm getting a new graphics card soon anyway, so it wouldn't matter, but still. She said she was going to the hog's head. Perhaps I'll find her there. He must be around here somewhere. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. Ravelio. little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> the tales of Beetle the must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. The footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Him. Matthew must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. 
Revelio. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. to come in here alone. Just keep an eye out. Abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend Matthew was not able to summon my wand. It must be blocked by something.
Revelio. The book of poems that was taken from Agabus Fulbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. That book is around here somewhere. Propendo. more things over there I gotta search them before I actually go to my destination Otto Tibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Let me go with this shit. Just so I can have room. This is 
It's a terrible time for me to be maxed out on item space. The green, we don't want the greens. Mr. Rape's wand could be any luck with my wand. Please, you must find it. Quickly. Revelio. Alohomora. Mr. Rape's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Eh, whatever. They're gonna fight each other. I'm just here for the entertainment value. Lumos. Lumos. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Back to Hogsmeade. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Hopefully she... <sighs> Do something wrong. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai. Your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. 
Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. The authorities haven't been much help. <laughs> I'm gonna tell the truth. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest.